just checking out a deer head and lungs and liver and that, just looking for the basic spots where we'd possibly find TB, the primary sites where it entered the deer. And here we got the head here, and just on the point of the jaw here, if you just slice in through there, there's a gland in there on each side. We have a bit of a close-up look there. Here it goes here. And what we're looking for is any pus, anything bright yellow, anything that's a bit gritty on the knife is a sign that it could be TB. We go round here, we cut down round the point of the jaw here. And just in there, there's another gland in there. And there we slice it up again. We're just looking for any pus or anything. You go to the other side, same thing again. Just in there, just slice away. And just, even if you don't get onto the gland itself, if you're slicing away in the general sort of area, if it's there, you'll see it. They will pull the tongue out here. And just down in here, through the throat, we've got some more glands in here. Just slice them up there too. There's two there, one on each side. So these six are in the same location as what you showed me in the pig? Pig, yes, cool. exactly the same spot. Now if we move on from there, we'll have a look at some lungs. Now when you pull the lungs out, <clears throat> it's quite important to try and run the knife down the backbone so you get the whole aorta out there. And when we go to do the lungs, you're sort of just looking in below the aorta, there's a big gland that runs down there. Then if we pick up the lungs, the front of the lobe, we'll cut in there, and there's another gland in there. Just slice through it. The colour is a bit different from everything else in there. And then <clears throat> what we do is we make a couple of big incisions into the heart, uh, lungs there. And we're just looking for any lumps or pus or anything like that. Another good spot to look for is in the liver here. And quite often, liver might have something in it, mainly the head and the lungs, those are the main spots, but you can check out the liver as well, since we've got it out here. We're just cutting into the glands up around the top of the liver there. Just looking for pus. You can even put a cut through the liver and have a good look in there too. And the rest of the carcass, <coughs> quite basically, if there's anything in there that smells, looks abnormal, just back off a wee bit, slow down and yeah, take your time. You, you know what is normal, what's abnormal, anything that doesn't look right or smell right, same with any food, you, you sort of exercise a bit of caution. Yeah. Now, when an animal catches TB like a deer, the primary sites of infection it's through the head, and you're more than likely to find that in the head itself, in the glands, or in the lungs. Those are the main spots. So if you're going to have a quick look, those are the places to look. If you find something, stop, take up the pics. Everyone carries a phone these days. Don't take it away, just leave it there. If you're on a farm, inform the farmer. If you uh, got this phone with you, take the GPS coordinates on your phone. If you are somewhere where you're not meant to be, do take the GPS coordinates, leave it there, get a hold of Osprey. We are interested in the information. We keep things confidential. You know, with it being a zoonotic disease, TB can be transferred from the animals to humans. <laughs> I'd hate the thought of actually taking the disease home and passing anything on to the kids. I know it's quite a big, a very rare occurrence, but there's that risk there. Yes, I've got no ambition to, uh, to take uh, a deer carcass 
the meet home and share it amongst my family and my friends uh, if I think in any way that it might be contaminated. No, I've got no desire to do that whatsoever. Yeah. So it's good. It's good for me to, to sort of come to a place where I've got confidence in sharing that or not. Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, like, these are the places that we're going to possibly find it. From the point of the jaw here in the gland, in the there, in behind the throat there, and then we're looking at the lungs here, and under that big white aorta there, you've got a row of glands down there, and at the front of each of the lobe of the lungs, just pick them up with the lobe, and just in there, just cut away. Just keep slicing away, you'll find the gland in there somewhere. On the other side there too. But at the end of the day, like the main message is to we, we don't want potentially infected offal body parts, whatever, taken off the farm. If anything is found, tell the landowner. Let Osprey know. Mm -hmm. Take a few photos. Um, and just put a good personal hygiene. That's all that's required.